guys go for gold hello and welcome i'm pooja shali this is a special telecast about some cheer coming in from Tokyo Olympics and update also on what can we expect but I'm not going to be hosting it alone I have Borya Majumdar joining me now from Tokyo he has his eye on the ground he's be getting us all the latest uh, uh, Borya hello and uh, it has at, at least been a morning today with some good news coming in uh, how do you have this uh, morning to say really what did you feel and then I'll give our viewers an update one by one Borya yeah I mean I don't think it's some good news Pooja it's huge good news I mean I don't think we've had a day like this in Tokyo over the last one week the last five days even I take uh, Mirabai Chanu's first day medal, I will say today is the best day. And the reason is, all of your players are gradually moving into medal contention. Satish Kumar, one win away. Yes, I know he will play the world champion in the quarterfinals. And that's a tough bout, but this is the Olympic stage. You've got to win a tough bout to get a medal. Your hockey team has stunned world champions, Olympic champions rather, Argentina. Yes. And they are now in the quarterfinals. So effectively, again, one win away from the semi-final. If you see, behind me is Mr. Om Mundra with all the Indian support. Indian flag, Khelega Bharat, Jitega Bharat. Mary will be fighting right here on my left. That's where I am, waiting yes. for Mericom's bout in exactly an hour and a half. So that's the last event for India. If Mary wins this, she too makes the quarters. Atanu is in the pre-quarters and he's now eliminated the Korean. So the draw has opened up. Deepika is 9 a.m. in the morning. You should have been there. Yes. Husband-wife combo, the way they were cheering for each other in the archery stadium. Deepika was egging Atanu on when he hit bullseye. was phenomenal to see. As I said, incredible day. And do not forget, Manu Bhakar finishing fifth today in the precision. Rapid is tomorrow. There is every reason to hope for something great from Manu Bhakar in shooting. Absolutely fantastic, the details that you are getting us from the ground. All I will say, Borya, is nazar na lage. Let's have more medals coming in. But for the viewers who have tuned in just now, let's give you an update and why we have a special telecast today. First, Indian boxer Satish Kumar has reached the quarterfinals of the men's super heavyweight category. Kumar has defeated Jamaica's Ricardo Brown 4-1. That was a split decision. Kumar is now just a victory away from ensuring that he will leave Tokyo at least with one medal. Dominant in the first two rounds, Kumar had to endure an injury above his right eye during the third. But he managed to keep the Jamaican at bay to emerge victorious. But all eyes have been on our ace shuttler, PV Sindhu. She has stormed into the quarterfinals of women's singles. Sixth seed Sindhu eased into the final eight with a straight game victory over world number 12, Mia Blickfeld. Denmark's Blickfeld was no match as it appeared for Sindhu with the 2016 Olympic silver medalist that Sindhu is won 21-15, 21-13 straight in a match that lasted 41 minutes. Sindhu is yet to drop a game at the Olympics and she'll now face fourth seed Japan's Akane Yamaguchi. The match will take place tomorrow afternoon but not just her. Let's now take a look at what Atanu Das has managed to achieve. Uh, this is archery. Atanu Das caused an upset in the round of 32 by defeating 2012 gold medalist Ojin Hike in shoot-off. Atanu, who had lost the first set, drew the next two before taking the fourth to level the match. In the fifth, Atanu Das matched the Korean arrow for arrow and with 28 points each, the game then headed for a shoot-off. The Korean, who has already won the team one gold medal, shot another nine, but Atanu Das of the Indian contingent going second in the shoot-off sealed his place in round of 16 because he got a perfect 10. But what about the team effort of Indian contingent, the hockey match? They are in the quarterfinals now. The Indian team has defeated the reigning champions Argentina, goalless after first two quarters. India took the lead in the third after a video referral awarded them a penalty corner. Varun Kumar converted a superb drag flick. Michael Casella scored the equaliser for Argentina with another penalty corner in the final quarter. But India decided to up the ante toward the end. Two goals were scored in as many minutes. Argentina suddenly finding themselves 1-3 behind in no time. Nine points out of possible 12. India have now cemented their second place in Pule. 
So with all this background for you, I'm again going back to Tokyo because Borea is on the ground. He knows best about what's been happening. Borea, before we go on to other specifics about PV Sindhu, you had something to say about the coach watching the match of another contender. That was an interesting uh, trivia that you shared. Why do you think that's happening? What does it signify? No, he was he was intent. I mean, the moment Akane Yamaguchi came on court and the bat, the, 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 he, she was actually playing on the exact left-hand side court. And Park came and sat exactly at the very end of the right-hand side part of the stadium. So at a fair distance, he did not want the Japanese contingent to spot him. He and the badminton contingent, there were three people from Team Sindhu who were sitting there. And Park was sitting making notes. He was observing Akane Yamaguchi very, very closely because all of us knew that in, you know, 99% the match will be against Akane Yamaguchi. I was sitting just in the next enclosure trying to watch what he was doing. He stayed there right through, right through. And Sindhu also said she would be watching Yamaguchi. This is an old rivalry. If you take the All England, it was a one and a one hour plus match. Sindhu prevailed over Akane Yamaguchi in the final game 21-19 at the All England. If you take head-to-head, 11-7 -head, in favour of PV Sindhu. At one point, Yamaguchi beat Sindhu three, three, three times on the trot. Sindhu now has her mojo back. You know what? If you really want to go deep into the draw, Tai Zuing, Ratchanok, Inthanon, Chen Yufei, you do not want these three. Sindhu has the best draw. Akane Yamaguchi is one opponent against who Sindhu has had the most success. So I am actually saying, PV Sindhu slightly ahead, also because the Japanese will not have local support. No crowds in the stadium means no crowd cheering for Akane Yamaguchi. And the entire Indian media contingent, plus the chef de mission and others, will be there, I'm sure, for PV Sindhu. So it's a great matchup, very close, but the Indian possibly, just possibly, has a slight edge. Bora, you, what you're mentioning is very important because it's not hard to see that PV Sindhu is perhaps one of those few Indian players who are making it at least look easy. The fact that she's prepared speaks all wise. PV Sindhu are medal hopeful. She's India's number one shuttler. She, she's already a silver medalist from the 2016 Rio Games. This is in with a chance of possibly winning another medal. Sindhu looks in prime form. She defeated today world number 12, Mia Blik Felt. She will be playing her quarterfinal tomorrow. She will be up against number four seed Akane Yamaguchi, who we were just talking about. But there's already another player. Do not miss her, Lovlina Borgahen. Lovlina Borgahen won her round of 16 bout against Germany's Nadania Pids. And tomorrow she'll take on Chinese Taipei Shen Ni Shin in the quarterfinals. If she wins tomorrow, she'll be assured of a bronze. In case, and if that does not happen, there's no bronze medal match in boxing. Anyone who reaches the semi-final gets the bronze. So in boxing competitions, there are always two bronze medalists usually. That's a very interesting trivia that you must know. So let's hope. Lovelina can bring home the glory. What about Pooja Rani, my namesake? Like Lovelina Borgohen, Pooja Rani is also one victory away from winning at least a bronze. Lovelina will now face the Rio Games bronze medalist, Kion Lee. Satish Kumar, the boxer, super heavyweight. Also, a lot of people are now going to keep uh, their eyes on him. He's through to the last eight. He has a tough challenge ahead of him, but he will have to defeat world number one, Bakodir Jalolov, in the next round. But Indians men team in hockey, that's a team effort. Indian men's hockey team are in the knockouts. Apart from drubbing against Australia in the second match, they have won all their other three games. They have their final group game against Japan. But even before they have, they've qualified for the quarters. It is important to understand all of this because when I take this question to Borea, Borea, our viewers need to know that there are many games taking place. But why is it that you think PV Sindhu has a chance Apart from Mercom and others, who are you pinning your hopes now on these medal hopefuls? Plenty of them, you know, and I've been saying this from day one, that do not get disappointed with one bad day. The one sport where you've actually had a disappointing outing here in Tokyo shooting. No debate. But even in shooting, today Manu Bhakar was spectacularly good, finishing with a 292 in the 25-meter pistol in precision. Tomorrow is the rapid. I was speaking to Ronak Pandit, Manu's coach. Manu is regularly shooting 293, 294 in the rapid. If, he does, if she does that, definitely she's in the final. 
anybody can win. Manu has a great chance tomorrow. Of course, Sindhu has a great chance. And you know why? You ask me why. Akane Yamaguchi, never an Olympic winner. Tai Zhu Ying, never an Olympic winner from the Chinese Taipei. Nozomi Okohara, Rio Olympic semi-finalist, lost to PV Sindhu, including the second game, decimated. So if you uh, Ratchana Kintanon from Thailand, clashing with Tai Zhu Ying, one of them will go through. So the point is, Sindhu is the only player who's been there, done that, has the experience of winning an Olympic medal. You've got to back her. She is in top physical and mental state. Yesterday, she told me she meditates to keep the mental calm. Today, she looked in superb touch. Her association with Park is now solid. So she has a personal coach, physically, mentally. Now you ask me about others. You have not mentioned Simranjit because she has not played yet among the women okay. boxers. Watch out for Simranjit. I'm telling you, she has the best draw. Watch out for Simranjit. Watch out for Lovelina. Pooja has a tough one. Pooja is playing the Chinese who she's lost with four times. Tough one. Having said that, boxing tomorrow, Amit Fangal takes centre stage. If Amit Fangal beats the Colombian guy, I don't think anybody will be able to stop Amit Fangal. By the way, there's Mary Cobb. You just move the camera. Yes. Uh, 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 there's Mary. That's her bus. And there's she waving at us. All the best to you, Mary. We'll be there supporting you. That's Mary Com going into the stadium, uh, Puja, for her for her contest. There she's waving at uh, our cameras. Very dear friend, and one wishes Mary Com all the very best because she is playing this girl who she has beaten in 2019. You can turn the camera this side, Shiva. 2019 is when Mary beat this opponent. So I'm very very hopeful yes. that given the wealth of experience that Mary Com has. She should be able to win this one. Okay. I'm giving Vinesh Fogart, Bajrang yes. Punia, plenty of opportunities. So do not lose heart. Keep telling you this is a good contingent. And uh, in just another hour, Boria, of course, I'm going to return to you because Mericom is going to face Colombia's Valencia. That's also going to be a very important match. And getting us that little way from Mericom, what a special moment for now. Just remember, it must be full of nerves for her for sure, but she is still managing a smile. Boria Majumdar is in Tokyo. India Today will be catching minute by minute updates. It's a wrap for now. Thank you so much, Boria. I'll let you go for now. You can always catch all the updates on indiatoday.in. You can download the application on your phones as well. Stay tuned. We are only wishing the Indian contingent go India, go for gold. Thank you for watching.